Good morning people. Hello and welcome to another vlog episode of the India Darshan Travel Series. So it's 10.30 in the morning. We have started our journey onwards to the next destination which is going to be to a small yet famous town of Jamnagar on the west coast of Gujarat. I was initially planning to go all the way to Bhuj but I thought I have all the time in the world and as a full-time traveler I can easily add more destinations along the way. So decided to take a detour and heading to Jamnagar instead first. Um, and along the way I saw this Bahia selling bananas, so I grabbed three bananas for myself. This is going to be a nice and quick uh, breakfast along the way. So I'm going to have some bananas first and then we'll be on the way. So let's get started. So the journey to Jamnagar is gonna be a short and sweet 100 kilometer ride. It's just probably gonna take two odd hours depending if I find something interesting along the way or just keep going. Uh, so just taking it nice and easy. By noon or by lunch hour we'll be there. Hopefully we can find a decent accommodation this time. That was a pretty cool breakfast for just 20 rupees for three bananas. Nice and sweet. And the vendor was also very very friendly so now we can be on our way and I think yeah, for my next meal break I can directly get to the destination easily now let's go so this is the same race course road that I took to go to the Atal Sarovar the other day so I knew there were some fruit vendors along the way I was keeping an eye out for them, but mostly like these uh, muskmelon vendors and mango vendors because it's the mango season. Finally found a banana guy which is quick and easy breakfast, so decided to grab that. Oh, there is a mixed fruit vendor here, oh, yeah, lots of kesar mangoes everywhere. I wish there were more people dicing up watermelon and muskmelons, I could keep having that on the way, but not very many people dice them up, they're mostly giving them out as whole so you bring them home and eat it yourself one day i grabbed the bag to put the banana peels in my bag for a bit um, he was just saying you can throw it on the side is like no why should i do that the city is pretty nice and clean i like to keep it that way well except for some parts where there's trash all along the way but anyway i'm gonna keep it safe because i know i'm gonna run into some cows or buffaloes along the way might as well feed them and get some blessings why throw them in the corner eh, like that? So, still have it in my backpack. I keep an eye out for some cows or buffaloes that we can feed along the way. And this is the Jamnagar Rajkot um, sort of expressway, but it's going through the Rajkot city for now, waiting to get out of the city or somewhere at the city limits. Probably there would be some cows and buffaloes hanging out.
All right, so it's 12.45 p.m. We have made it to the town of Jamnagar. Um, I think I'm sitting in some sort of uh, marketplace, so found myself a shady spot uh, in front of a shop that's currently closed. Now looking for a decent hotel to put up while in town and perhaps somewhere close by so we can also explore uh, a bunch of things directly from the hotel in a walking distance. Let's see what we end up finding. So right in the middle of the market we found a hotel. It's a bit noisy here, difficult to vlog, but the hotel is behind me. It's called the Hotel President. Let's go upstairs, I'll show you the room and we have the market view also from our balcony. So welcome to our nice and spacious room in the Hotel President. I'm on the fourth floor, uh, got a very nice and big room here. There's a nice working desk after a while, a uh, small TV comes with AC and Wi-Fi, two big beds which is really cool, uh, has a storage cabinet, luggage area and a nice and spacious bathroom as well which is really really nice. And the cool thing as I was saying before, so this is in the market so we're gonna go to the market later in the evening to take a walk. But this room also has a balcony that overlooks the market area. So that's the market area down there where I was before. And we're gonna go down in the evening and walk around a little bit. Um, for now, there was this uh, small modest restaurant that I saw about a kilometer away from here. So we're just gonna go there and grab ourselves a breakfast. I just told the uh, uh, room service folks to get me some water for drinking first. So once they give me that uh, jug of water, I'm gonna receive that, have some water, freshen up, and then we'll be out for lunch. So now that it is 6.30 p.m., it's time to explore the lake side. So I'm now at uh, Lakota Lake. There's a 10 rupees entrance ticket, so we've just paid that. We're gonna walk around. I'm told there are a few other things to do here. There's museum and stuff. Uh, there's also a laser light show. Uh, all of them have separate entry tickets, but now we're gonna be smart. We're gonna walk around and understand where the laser show happens. And if it seems worth it, we might get a ticket. Otherwise, we're just gonna walk around. Tickets are cheap here. It's like 10 rupees, 25 rupees and stuff. Uh, so it's not super expensive, but uh, just wanna kind of be cautious after the last experiences that also are over. So let's walk around and enjoy the views. Loving the park side, there's an open gym here, a couple of E3 shops behind and then I think this is the path that used to be the fort back in the day that got converted into a museum. So might have a separate entrance ticket and that might be the fountain area over there. I want to see if I can walk along this promenade for free. If not, we just pay up. It's just 25 rupees to get to the museum. And I think Gadbir said it stays open until 8 p.m. or something. And the entire park opens until 11 p.m. So we have ample of time. Let's find ourselves a good spot to check out the sunset. So I just spoke to the staff, they said this uh, walking pool that takes us to the fort in the middle, that is indeed an archaeological museum, you have to take 25 rupees entrance ticket, even if you just want to go to the bridge. And as it turns out, because I want to take a few pictures with my GoPro, that is charged as a professional photography content for 100 rupees. I was like, this is ridiculous, I just want to take a few pictures of the sunset and come back and they're like, no. 
So anyways, we're gonna skip that and enjoy the views from some other side. And they also have a nice walking path where a lot of people are doing. So I'm guessing it's like a full circle around the lake. So let's enjoy the views from a distance then. Mm -hmm. 